What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Mark Dark, and I'm back with another video. If you're new, if you love BMF, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Like the video and leave your theories, comments, everything down below. Now, today we'll be talking about BMF Season 3. Neo and 2 Chains have joined the show. So that is the topic of discussion in today's video. Down below, I want you guys to let me know exactly how you feel about this. We will be going over the descriptions of their characters in this video, so stay tuned. Now, make sure you check out my last BMF video. I dropped the BMF Season 2, Episode 7, What to Expect video. And if you're a fan of Power, check out the Power Book 2 Ghost Season 3, Noma the New Plug Predictions video that I did. And also, if you're a fan of Snowfall, check out the Snowfall Season 6, Episode 1, in episode two, what to expect video. The season premiere will be airing tonight. So stay tuned for those videos, man. It's about to go down and I cannot wait. But let's talk about the topic of discussion. Now we're gonna start with Two Change and his character description. Now it states that he will play Stax, an Atlanta born and bred distributor whose wisdom and stature command respect wherever he goes. Fiercely loyal and determined to provide for his family, no matter the cost, Stax lives by the street code and challenges meets leadership style. So it seems like 2 Chainz's character is going to have some issues with Meech on, you know, how he's running certain things. It says that, you know, he is questioning Meech's leadership style and that's going to be a problem. So I'm eager to see how Meech is going to deal with this guy. I mean, his name is Stax and it's talking about he commands respect wherever he goes. So I definitely cannot wait to see how this is all going to play out. We know 2 Chainz is from Atlanta, so... I believe he's going to, you know, fit well within the story and do what he has to do as far as his role. And we know that Meech will still be in Atlanta doing business, not just with Goldie. We knew eventually it would be other people that he would have to work with. And we saw the introduction of Goldie. It wasn't the best, but eventually they figured it out. So what's going to be the intro to this character stacks? Will it be some tension in the air at the very beginning? We shall see, but we do know it's going to be some tension eventually within that whole storyline. You guys let me know, what do you think about 2 Chainz's character? Do you want to see him in BMF? Because I already know a lot of people, they don't really like seeing a whole lot of rappers and celebrities and, you know, in the TV shows. They want to see actual people that act for a living in these TV shows. But we do know eventually in the BMF story, there will be a lot of rappers that's going to be involved. And the music industry will be one of the key parts on why BMF blew up the way it did. But that's probably not going to happen until down the line. We don't even know what season they're going to do that in. And we don't know if it's going to be some type of time jump. But we know it's coming. Now let's talk about your boy Neo. Let's go over the description of his character. Now it states that Neo will play Rodney Greeny Green. A local Atlanta player who's all about making the bag. Filled with swagger in an entrepreneurial spirit, there's more than meets the eye to Greeny. So once again, we're getting a character that they're telling us about that has more under the surface that we don't know about. The last time I seen a description like that, it was your girl Mabel Jones. And it was saying pretty much it's more to her that we're going to eventually find out and that we did not necessarily know at the time. So with this Rodney Greeny character, what else is he hiding? What else don't we know about? Well, we know Meech eventually will find out. I can't wait to see it. And it seems like they're going to be building up this whole Atlanta storyline even more just based off both of these characters because both of them will be based in Atlanta. And we know Neo, he has a lot of acting experience. So I know he's going to do his job. I know it's going to be easy work for him. I believe he was in uh, Step Up High Water. That was like the last um, big TV show that he was in. And we know that was on Stars as well. So they probably gave him a call and said, you know what? We know we canceled that show, but how about you come and join BOMF? You know what I'm saying? Let's see what you can do there. So I'm pretty sure Neo's definitely going to do what he has to do. I want you guys to let me know exactly how you feel about Neo joining the BMF universe. And also, what do you think about 2 Change joining as well? I got a feeling there's going to be more people that's going to join the show. Don't be surprised if they start announcing more celebrities or actors that's going to be joining the next season of BMF. Now, I got a question for you guys before we end the video. And it's about your boy, Lamar. Now, over the last few videos, so I guess the last few weeks of BMF, a lot of people have been stating that Lamar is a little bit overpowered. Like he's moving like he's a super villain, like unstoppable. I mean, and some people believe that he's just a little bit too OP or whatever. But some say he makes the show. They want to see it. They want to see all the action. So I ask you guys down below, is your boy Lamar overpowered? Are they doing too much with his character as far as what he's doing? I mean, it seems like law enforcement turns the eye to him like he's not out there committing all types of crimes. And I know 
They were supposed to keep him under wraps, but now he's out. He's out and moving. Everybody knows he's alive, so they ain't keeping nothing under wraps no more. So they can't use that excuse. This man is moving like Jason and Michael Myers. I mean, this dude is just flat out crazy but i understand for tv purposes you gotta you know switch it up or whatever and i know some of the things that lamar is doing is based off the real person but we know they spicing it up a lot for tv which is very understandable but then again it could be op sometimes because the stuff he doing is just it's just insane now some say they want to see a lamar spinoff with the whole bmf immortals i don't know if they want to do that i was thinking the whole bmf immortals was based off people that was involved with the BMF that they was connected to, which I can be completely wrong. A lot of details have not came out, but that's what I think they would want to do. But we shall see. All I'm saying is this. We know in season three, the whole Atlanta storyline is going to pick up a lot more. And based off, you know, these new people that's coming to the show for season three, they will put more effort in the whole Atlanta storyline, which means the focus on Detroit it's going to eventually move off to different areas, right? And we know Terry will still be doing business in Detroit, but how much of the Lamar storyline will be involved? I mean, eventually, they're going to have to figure out what they're going to do with this whole storyline. I can't see him being in each and every season. I know a lot of people do mention that they believe Lamar makes the show. So even if you believe he makes the show, they're going to have to figure out a way to close out this storyline because they can't continue to drag it out all these seasons, you know, when they're telling the whole BMF story. So we're going to see what they're going to do. But we do know your boy Lamar is definitely moving like he's Jason Michael Myers. He's not playing around. And eventually, they're going to have to neutralize him whether you like it or not. But I want y'all to leave y'all theories predictions down below on 2 chains on your boy Neo joining the BMF universe. And also let me know what y'all think about your boy Lamar. We will continue to talk about BMF season two this week we got the episode seven final predictions video dropping on the next one so i want you guys to stay tuned for that i want to thank you guys once again for all the love all the support and i will catch y'all on the next one but let me get a bone out of here man it's your boy mark dark i'm out peace